All right, today my brother's gonna show you an old time strong man exercise called the seesaw press. And he's gonna use two 53 pound kettlebells. Check it out. Good job. Good job. Very good, very good. He made that look easy, and believe me, it's not. Good job, man. All right, <clears throat> next up, brother's gonna do an old time feat of strength. I'm talking about this is the old feats of strength from yesteryear. Got a 135 pound barbell. He's gonna be on three limbs. I'm gonna hand him the bar and he's gonna hold it overhead. Now with only three limbs of contact on the ground, it's very unstable. Takes a tremendous amount of strength and stability. Y'all check this out. Today we're going to be reading out of 1st James 1 verse 8. James 1 verse 8. It says, a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. I'm going to turn it over. Matthew 5, 13 through 16. It says, you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by men. Verse 14, you are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. Verse 16, in the same way, let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. And that was Jesus speaking. No doubt. No doubt. What I take from that myself is, if you're going to stand for the Lord, stand for the Lord. We can't be part-time Christians. In Matthew 5, verse 13, you know, it says Christians are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has lost its flavor, it's good for nothing but to be thrown out. And then like Scott read, it goes on to say in 15 that no man lights a candle and puts it under a bowl, but he puts it on a candlestick and it gives light to all that are in the house. And then he read in 16, telling us to, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. You know, I was thinking about it. When the night is the darkest, 
That's when the light shines the brightest. <laughs> and this world is pretty dark right now. Amen. That's why we need to let our light shine for Jesus. So true, well said, man. Well said. That's some good verses too, man. Yeah, absolutely. You know, a lot of times when we go through problems and issues in life, you know, they can't all be mountaintop experiences. Sometimes we go through the valleys, you know. But when we go through those valleys, a lot of times we try to fix those things on our own. Yeah. Instead of doing what we know is right, and that's going to our true source, and that's God. That's right. You know, we must ask God to guide us and then focus on whatever the task is that he wants us to do. Faith in him, trust in him, that's the key. No doubt. Well said, man. If you think about it, if you really think about it, everything on this earth will eventually fade away with time. You know, all the material things that we think we can't live without, they won't last. But what we do for Jesus, what you do for Jesus, will last in eternity. It'll last in eternity. And God is faithful, and that's what he asks us to be. God asks us to be faithful. Exactly. Exactly. You know, today, knowledge is plentiful. You got computers, you got, I mean, we got so much, there's so much information out there, it's, it's crazy. Yep. More, there's more knowledge out there than ever before. That's right. But wisdom, wisdom is scarce. Well, you said a mouthful right there. Yeah, that's the truth, man. We got all this knowledge, but there's, no, there's not a lot of wisdom. The big difference between them two, you know? <laughs> that's it. I remember that somebody used to say knowledge is power. Yeah. Not really. That's right. Wisdom's power, knowledge right. with action. That's right. Uh, but you know, godly wisdom is found through prayer, through studying your Bible, and sharing and listening to other Christian people. No doubt. And look, let's not forget this Sunday is Easter, where we celebrate the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. We serve a risen Savior. That's something to be excited about. That's something to be fired up about. Let's fill them churches up Sunday. Exactly, man. That's the truth. And this is the truth. See you on the next video.